guys, this is your tr this is your train man gamer bro right here back with another train terms talk show episode. Today we are going to be taking a look at the cowl units, all cowl body locomotives ever made for freight and passenger. This is going to be a very big episode, so enjoy, enjoy it. Subscribe for more awesome content like this, including rail fanning and gaming. And let's get this started. This locomotive right here on your screen that you see was only owned by Canadian National and for a short amount of time, Canadian Pacific. This is the Bombardier HR-616. The HR means that high, re high reliability and the 616 is the model number. These locomotives were numbered 2100 through 2119, and for Canadian Pacific, 7000 to 7003. And this locomotive here was built in 1983. This other cowl body lo locomotive that you see on the screen was built in 1988, and which originally was owned by Canadian Pacific, numbered 9000 to 9024 this locomotive is called the gmd sd40-2f sd indicating special duty 40 indicating that that is the model number dash 2 is just the dash number and f is full width cowl body in January of 2013, most of Canadian Pacific's SD40-2F units were retired. And then in 2016, the remaining units were retired, and Central, Maine, and Quebec acquired them. All of the units were repainted into the silver and light blue livery, except for 9017, which was painted in the Banger and, and Aroostook Railroad livery as a heritage unit. This cowl unit seen on your screen is, is only owned by one railroad and that is Canadian National only 60 of them were produced all from CN are retired numbered 5400 through 5459 this is the General Motors division SD 50 F SD indicating special duty 50 indicating that is, is the model number F indicating full width cowl body. Five of them were picked up by Dakota, Missouri, Valley, and Western Railroad. Well, there's only one left now, and it is being used as a part source. 5408 and 5458 went to Montana Limestone Company in Warren, Montana. In the same year the SD50F was built, there's another locomotive that only Canadian National owned, the EMD SD60F, SD indicating special duty, 50 is the model number, F is a full width cowl body, numbered 5500 through 5563. Some EMD SD60F units were scrapped, others were retired, and some others were, were sold to a short line in Minnesota the Aberdeen, Carolina, and Western Railway. This locomotive right here was used to be strictly for freight. Burlington Northern and the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe used most of these locomotives. Now they're all retired, and now they're sold. Now some of them are sold to Metra, and now that and now used on passenger service. This is the EMD F45. F indicating full width cowl body and 45 indicating its model number. This other cowl unit was built in 1990. This locomotive is part of the General Electric Dash 8 series, the GE C40 8M. The C indicating the locomotive has six axles, the 40 indicating the locomotive has 4,000 horsepower. Dash 8 indicating that's part of the General Electric Dash 8 series, and the M indicating that it is a medium speed freight service locomotive. Only three railroads own the GEC 40 M today, and they are all Canadian railroads. 
Canadian National, British Columbia Rail, and Quebec North Shore and Labrador all own C40-8Ns. For Q and SNL, they only have three of them, number 401 through 403. Canadian National numbering 2400 through 2454. BCLL 4601 to 4626. For passenger service, this was the first ever cow unit built. The General Electric U30CG. The U indicating that it's part of General Electric's Universal Series. 30 indicating that it has 3,000 horsepower. C indicating that the locomotive has six axles. And the G, well, I have no idea what that means. Well, what I do know is this locomotive was only bought by one railroad, and that was the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe. Strictly used for passenger service, only six of them were built. Originally, the U30CGs were in war bonnet paint numbered 400 through 405, and then later on repainted in the blue bonnet paint numbered 8000 through 8005. This next cowl unit was the first ever locomotive used on Amtrak, and this was also the first locomotive built for Amtrak in 1971. This is the Electromotive Diesel SDP-40F. SD indicating special duty, P indicating that it is a passenger unit, 40 indicating the locomotive has 4,000 horsepower, and the F indicating that it is a full-width cowl body. And now this next cowl body locomotive was the second locomotive used on Amtrak service. This was built in 1974, seven years after the GE U30CG. This is General Electric's P30CH. P indicating that it is a passenger locomotive, 30 indicating that it has 3,000 horsepower, C indicating that the locomotive has six axles, and H indicating that the locomotive is HEP equipped, and HEP means head and power. This locomotive that you see on your screen is another cowl unit. This cowl unit was only on passenger service for one railroad, ATSF. This is the EMD FP45, F indicating that it is a full width cowl body, P indicating that it is a passenger unit, 45 is the model number. Although these locomotives are no longer in service, these, these ATSF FP45 units can be seen displayed at museums. One of them is also sold to Wisconsin Central. This, this cowl locomotive actually looks very similar to the SDP-40F. The only difference on this one is that it's not six axled like the SDP-40F. And this is also not a special duty locomotive, but it was built by the same company as the SDP-40F, Electromotive Diesel. This is the EMD F40PH, F indicating that it is a full width cow body, 40 indicating that it has 4,000 horsepower, and P indicating that it is a passenger unit, and H indicating that it is HEP equipped. This is a locomotive very similar to the F40PH. There's not really much of a difference, but this is only owned by Via Rail. This is an EMD F40PH-2. Everything means the same, but the dash two means that it's the dash number. That's, re that's really all there is to it. And then there's a rebuild of the F40PH-2. It is called the F40PH-2CAT. The F indicating that it is a full width cowl body. 40 indicating that it has 4,000 horsepower. P indicating that it is a passenger unit, H indicating that it is HEP equipped, 
and the dash 2 meaning that is just the dash number, and the C-A-T means caterpillar. Caterpillar is the engine that is inside of the locomotive. This is another type of F-40 PH-2 locomotive. This is only owned by Metra, I believe. And this locomotive is the Electromotive Diesel <clears throat> F-40PH-2M. F indicating that it is a full width cow body. 40 indicating that it has 4,000 horsepower. P indicating that it is a passenger unit. H indicating that it is HEP equipped. Dash 2 is just a dash number, and M indicating that it is a medium speed service locomotive. And now here's another locomotive. It looks almost exactly like an F40PH. To be honest, I do not think that there is any physical difference in this locomotive. I think the only way you can distinct them is by the numbers. But this locomotive is called an F40. PH-2C. However, though, this one was not built by Electromotive Diesel. Instead, it was built by Motive Power Incorporated, or MPI. The F indicates that the locomotive is a full-width cow body, 40 indicating that it has 4,000 horsepower, P indicating that it is a passenger unit, H indicating that it is HEP equipped, Dash 2 is just a dash number, and C means that it has a caterpillar, which is just a which is just the engine inside of the locomotive. And now this is a locomotive very, very similar to the F40PH-2C. There's there's no physical difference at all. And as I said, the only way to distinct them is by looking at the locomotive number. There is, they are almost the same thing, but the name of this locomotive is the F40PH-3C. That's, really, that's pretty much the only difference. That's really about it. Everything means the exact same thing. It's just that there is a different dash number on this locomotive. That is all. And now here's another locomotive right here. Looks similar to the F40PH. Kind of looks like a Triclops unit, you know, kind of like the SD60M Triclops. Well, this is an EMD F59PH. F indicating that it is a full width cowl body. 59 is the model number. P indicating that it is a passenger unit. H indicating that it is HEP equipped. And now here's a locomotive similar to the F59PH. This is only used on Amtrak Surfliner trains, by the way. This is the EMD F59PHI. F indicating that it is a full-width cowl body. 59 is the model number. P indicating that it is a passenger unit. H indicating that it is HEP equipped an I indicating that it has an isolated cab. And now here's another locomotive right here. If you notice some, it actually looks kind of similar to the F40PH-2M. However, though, it's a completely different locomotive. This is the F69PHAC. F indicating that it is a full width cowl body. 69 is the model number. P indicating that it is a passenger unit. H indicating that it is HEP equipped. AC indicating that, that it has alternating current traction. All right, now this right here is another cowl locomotive, only owned by Metrolink. Also the most hideous cowl locomotive ever. This is the EMD F125. F indicating that it is a full width cow body. 125 is the model number. That is about it for this stupid ugly eyesore. Alright, now this is another cow unit here. Believe it or not, this is actually not foreign. This is from around here. This is the EMD 
DM30AC. The DM indicating that it is a dual motor. 30 indicating that it has 3,000 horsepower. AC indicating that it has alternating current traction. There's actually another locomotive similar to this one too. No physical difference. This is the DE30AC. The DE indicating that it is a diesel electric locomotive. 30 indicating that it has 3,000 horsepower. AC indicating that it has alternating current traction. And here's a locomotive that's only used on Amtrak service right here. This is the General Electric P32AC-DM. P indicating that it is a passenger unit. 32 indicating that it has 3,200 horsepower. AC indicating that it has alternating current traction. DM indicating that it has a dual motor. This here is a locomotive similar to the P40DC, with the P40DC having 4,000 horsepower. This is basically a this is basically a P40DC with more horsepower. That's about it. This is the GE P42DC. P indicating that it is a passenger unit. 42 indicating that it has 4,200 horsepower. DC indicating that the locomotive has direct current traction. And now over here is another cow locomotive. Right here, this is part of Motive Power's Express series of locomotives. This right here is the MPI MP54 AC. MP indicating Motive Power, the company that built the locomotive. 54 is the model number, and AC means that it has alternating current traction. And now this is another locomotive that is also part of MPI's MP Express series. This locomotive is called the MP36PH-3S. MP indicating that that is made by Motive Power. 36 indicating that it has 3,600 horsepower. P indicating that it is a passenger unit. H indicating that it is HEP equipped. Dash 3 is just a dash number. And S indicating that the HEP power is generated by a static inverter. And now this locomotive right here looks exactly like the MP36 PH-3S. There's no difference between each of them, no physical difference. But this is the MP36PH-3C. MP indicating that it is made by motive power. 36 indicating that it has 3,600 horsepower. P indicating that it is a passenger unit. H indicating that it is HEP equipped. Dash 3 is just a dash number. And C means that it has a Caterpillar engine inside it. Now this is another cowl unit. And this... Cowell unit actually belongs to EMD's general purpose series of locomotives. This is the only general purpose locomotive with a cowl body, strictly used on passenger service. Usually general purpose locomotives are mostly seen on freight services. Anyway here, this is a GP40 FH-2. GP meaning that is a general purpose locomotive. 40 is the model number. F indicating that it has a full width cowl body. H indicating that it is HEP equipped. And dash 2 is just a dash number. And now over here we have one of our newest cowl units made. This was built in 2016 and this cowl unit was made only for one railroad and that was Brightline. This is the Siemens SC40B. SC indicating that it is a Siemens charger. 40 indicating that it has 4,000 horsepower. And B indicating that the locomotive has four axles. And now here we go. Finally, this is now our final, final cowl unit. And this is the newest cowl unit made so far. This is the Siemens SC44. SC indicating that it is a Siemens charger, 44 indicating that it has 4,400 horsepower. 
And that's pretty much it now. And now we have officially went over every single cowl unit. And I just want all, I just want to say to all of you, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe for more awesome content so you can learn about locomotives and trains and stuff and, and some rail fitting content and gaming.